So today we're going to be looking at the game of horse. Now, horse is a fun game that you can play. Uh, you only need one other person, so two in total. Uh, you can play with more. This is a game that you can adapt. If you have a basketball hoop at home, of course, you can use that. If you do not, you can just use a bucket. You can play this game uh, using a bucket or uh, some sort of a clean garbage can. Just make sure that the area you are playing in uh, is safe and the equipment that you are using is safe. Make sure you ask an adult um, if you're not too sure. So in our game of horse today, we'll take a look at our board here. Uh, we're going to be using Steph Curry and Kia Nurse here to help us out. Two great basketball players. Um, they'll be helping us out today as we learn the game of horse. So here you can see this would be the half court line. So we have one side of a basketball court. Again, you do not need to have a basketball court. You do not need to be in a gym for this game, but it's a great game to work on your shooting skills. So in the game of horse, um, one player, player one, you can do rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to start. One player is going to start off by shooting the ball from wherever they would like. They're going to create their own shot. So let's say we've got Steph Curry here. We know he's great from the three-point line. So he's got his ball. He's going to take his shot from the three-point line here. Now if Steph shoots and, oh, it doesn't quite go in. It's now Kia's turn. So Kia then gets to make up her own shot, wherever she would like to shoot from. Let's say she wants to go from the three-point line as well. She changes it up. She goes to the center of the court. Oops. And Kia shoots and drains that three-point shot. Now it's Steph's turn again. So Steph would need to come over to the place that Kia shot from. Steph now needs to shoot from that three-point line and try to hit the shot. Now, if he shoots and misses, he's going to receive a letter. Now, if you're using the game horse, you could spell the word horse. You can choose any other type of word that you'd like to uh, spell as well. Um, <clears throat> it could be a longer word if you want a longer game or a shorter word if you want a shorter game. So if he misses, he receives a letter. Um, and then we go back and it is Kia's turn again. So if Kia goes, let's say she shoots and misses this one, it's back to Steph and he can make up his own shot. He does not have to shoot from where Kia was because Kia did not make the shot. So let's say Steph chooses to shoot from a nice and close, takes a shot and he hits the shot. Kia would then come over where Steph was. She needs to now make that shot. If she shoots and makes the shot, she does not receive a letter. And it would then be Steph's turn again. He can try to make a different shot. So let's say the game continued and Steph did eventually spell the word horse. Kia would be the winner of this round and they could start again. So that's the game of horse. You can try lots of different types of shots from different places on the court with this game. You can be really creative with the shots that you have. Again, if you do not have a basketball hoop at home, you can use um, something like a, a bucket um, to shoot a ball into. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a basketball. It can be a smaller basketball as well as you are working on that proper technique for shooting. So that's the game of horse. That's a fun one that you can try at home. Thanks everyone.